Boxing in the kitchen with no holds barred is how I would say it if I was an American person. Um, so today on this episode 3 of Boxing in the Kitchen I'm going to be making roasted tomatoes. So yeah, as you can see I've chopped up my tomatoes, they're looking very attractive right now. Uh, I've added in some onion and um, all I need to do is go over to my herb box and find some basil. Oh, that one's empty. That can come out of there. Uh, have I got any basil? Oh, bloody hell. Basil. Here we are. Okay, so then... And while I do this, I was just going to talk about uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Chris Algieri from the other day. Um, let's face it, it wasn't a fight that anybody really wanted to see. I, I mean, well, I mean, from who I was talking to online, well, yeah, this isn't coming out very good. From from the people I was talking to online, nobody that I was talking to really wanted to see it. And uh, let's go and get some garlic out of the fridge. Let's just use the puree because it's so much easier. Hang on, I'll just put that down there like that. And yeah, I don't think the Chris Algieri fight was a fight that anybody really wanted to see. He only really got the fight by beating um, Provodnikov, but then at the end of the day, beating Provodnikov is quite a, a big accomplishment. Even though he is a bit of a rudimentary brawler, like say Brandon Rios, he is still quite a you know he's a, a powerful foe and he's an exciting guy to watch. And Chris Algieri beat him, so <clears throat> so he got a fight with. Um, Manny Pacquiao, and at the end of the day, I'm just going to squidge the garlic in. There's probably a better way of doing it than this. If you chop up the garlic, you can um, you can do it a lot easier because you just sprinkle it over. But I don't like chopping up garlic; it takes ages. So I just buy the puree and then I just smear it in. There you go, just smear it. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm going to put olive oil all over it. So by the time that's happened, it's uh, probably going to sort of drip down into the tray anywho right so anyway I've done that yeah and so we got the fight with Pacquiao uh, and um, let's face it Pacquiao did a number on him completely in some some of the rounds in some parts of that fight against Pacquiao um, you know it was like chalk and cheese it didn't even look like Algieri should really be in there um, but I thought early on he did better and then I think um, Manny Pacquiao just really did a number on him. He um, didn't let up. He was looked similar to the Pacquiao of old. And you've got to give Pacquiao credit for that win because th if there is one thing that... I'm just pouring olive oil over. If there is one thing that Pacquiao um, detractors say about him, it's that he never tests himself against elusive boxers. Well... Chris Algieri is as elusive as they get in that like 140 to 147 category, so nobody can say that about him. Just going to shove these in the oven, probably for about half an hour, something like that. And uh, yeah, so how shall I put this now? Uh, well, let's just—you can just watch me putting stuff back. So the olive oil goes back there, and oh, these are what this is what the um, tomatoes come in. And now you've got to tear it up. Otherwise, little hedgehogs get caught in it. So you got to, uh, got to tear it up a bit, uh, 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 something like that, anyway. And then uh, you don't get little animals stuck in them. Yeah. So what I was going to just say is that um, yeah, after after um, a few rounds, Pacquiao just completely did a number on um, Algieri, and. Um, where does he go from now? Where does he go from here? Because at the end of the day, uh, who is left? I'm just going to put this up here. Who is left to fight for Manny Pacquiao? And um, just drinking out my kitten mug. Uh, so people can call me a fag. <laughs> yeah, so who does he fight next? And at the end of the day, who's left? Ruslan Provodnikov, because he's going to fight a top rank guy. So who is it? It's, top, it's um, Ruslan Provodnikov, or it's um, Juan, Man Juan Manuel Marquez, or it's a Timothy Brad Bradley trilogy. Because we all know he's going to fight another top rank guy. And I can't think of any other top rank. Is Sean Porter with top rank? Sean Porter? I don't think he is, no, because he fought Devin Alexander. So, um, yeah, 
who's he going to fight? Uh, I, my guess is he's going to fight a fifth fight with Manny, with uh, Marquez. Um, I know that Top Rank and you know Golden Boy, or whatever, have started to do fights together, but nothing on uh, the Pacquiao level. So I think that's going to. If he could fight someone else that's not Top Rank, I'd go with Lucas Matisse. But I would rather see Matisse fight Garcia first, Danny Garcia, and the winner of that fight Pacquiao. But that's a fight I can't see happening. Or Keith um, Thurman in maybe a year's time, maybe Pacquiao sort of um, check out fight, his last fight. But uh, I can't see um, Golden Boy sticking like one of their gems in the ring with um, Pacquiao. Or maybe Kel Brook, because Kel Brook's meant to be fighting Marquez, possibly. So maybe the winner of Brook and Marquez. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Pacquiao Brook. Uh, and aside from that, you, you, uh, you know, you're going down the list now of elite fighters because, quite frankly, there's, you know, it, who is there left for Pacquiao to fight in that sort of arena? Floyd Mayweather. And it's, it's not going to happen, at least not for um, another year or so. So, anyway, um, that's that. And I'll. Uh, I'll uh, film the rest of this when my tomatoes have come out of the oven with uh, the rest of my lunch, alright? Well, my roasted tomatoes have come out of the oven, and as you can see, they're quite sort of like, you know, nice and cooked. Um, you can cook them a bit longer if you want, to the point where the tomatoes are actually quite black. Or you can cook them for a little less. I think they were in there for about 30 or 40 minutes, something like that. So now all you do is you take some balsamic vinegar and then you just pour it over like this and they've been out of the oven now for a couple of minutes but if you did it while it's hot they start sizzling. I like to put quite a lot of vinegar on but uh, one of my mates I cooked this for he doesn't like it too uh, vinegary, he doesn't really like vinegar. Oh there we are, so yep and then I was going to have chips a um, corn, uh, corn because I'm vegetarian, a corn, um, chicken and garlic escalop. But as you can see, I've got the uh, chips, the chicken thing, and then I found some beans, so I just dumped them on. So now, I'm not going to be able to fit that on. So, I'll probably just gobble all this down, and then have the tomatoes afterwards. I can eat quite a lot, so now I'll just put some little bit of pepper on. Oh, that was too much, never mind. Yeah, so anyway, so that was my Pacquiao video, including what I made for food, okay?